Okay, let's start with the introduction. By the way, I have put a PDF of my arrangement of the introduction into the description, so if, feel free to download that and just go over it. It's both music notation and guitar tablature. I think what's important about this introduction is that you keep the bass line moving. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what I mean when I get to that. First of all, it is in the key of F because the capo is on the 8th fret and he plays in A type form, uh, A major type form with the bass on the 5th mm -hmm. string. Um, although it's in the key of F, I wrote out the introduction like it was in the key of A. So I'm going to talk like it's in the key of A, and then all you do is just take your capo and put it wherever you want on the fretboard so that it matches your uh, key when you sing it, if you're going to sing it. And that'll work for you. If you want to play it in the original, put it on the eighth fret. All right, let's go to the introduction. And the primary chord throughout the entire introduction is an A sus2. And the way you form that is you form an A chord, if you know how to do an A major, it's just these three fingers put on the fourth, third, and second strings on the second fret. And, but you take off the ring finger and leave the second string unfretted, and now you have an A sus2. That's what it would sound like if you have the capo on the eighth fret. It's really a cool chord. And let's go measure by measure of how you'd play this intro. You begin, first measure, by plucking the fifth, fourth, and third strings together. Then you're going to hit the first string, and then the fifth and the first string, first string together, and then the fourth and the third. Now here's what it would sound like in time. Okay. In the second measure, we put our ring finger on the first string, second fret, and we're going to pull it off. Now, when you pluck it initially, you're going to pluck the first string and the fifth string together and then pull off your ring finger to get that open first string. Pluck the second and third string and then you're going to put your ring finger on the third fret second string and pluck it and the first and the fifth string, creating an A sus4 then pluck the fourth and the third strings. And that sounds combining those two measures like this. Okay. The next measure um, has you again going to this A sus2 and you're going to just pluck your uh, finger, finger picking pattern around it fifth and the second strings together, fourth, third, then fifth, second, fourth. Is the rhythm. Okay. And then that takes us to the next measure where we actually switch the bass off this A. At this point, the A has been constantly going every first and third beat, which is important. That's what keeps this introduction cohesive and as a unit, the bass. So you've got to get that bass, I think, to make it sound right. All right, in the next measure, you're actually going to put your middle finger on the sixth string third fret, pluck the sixth string and the third string together, and then the fourth string and then take it off and pluck the 6th string and 2nd string together. And then back to this A sus2. Then pluck the 5th string, because you're keeping the bass going. And now you're going to do this neat little move, because you're actually playing multiple parts at the same time as a solo guitarist. So you've got to kind of accommodate both parts. Well, the way to do it is to play, um, you're going to play the fifth string and third string together. And as you hit, pull these off, you're going to hammer, or sorry, pull off the third string. And then you're going to pull off the fourth string. So that was. 
And then I think the right way to do this as a solo guitarist is to play the fifth and the fourth strings together. And what that accomplishes is it accomplishes this, except for you don't slide. If you slide, like a lot of players do, they're actually just playing these notes, but leaving the A out that has to keep going. And that sort of sounds a bit disjointed. So the way to beat that is to play the fifth and fourth strings together and don't slide. And then the fifth string, third fret, and open. Then you put one finger down, the, the index finger on the fourth string, second fret, and you're gonna pluck the fifth and the third strings together, then the fourth string, then the second string, and then go back to the A sus2, and the fifth string again. And there you have it. That's the introduction. So when you combine all of that together, played slowly, measure by measure, this is what it would sound like. Okay, let's go on to the verse. The verse is an A, to a C, to a D, and back to an A. And that repeats. My child arrived just the other day. He came to the world in the usual way. But there were planes to catch and bills to pay. He learned to walk while I was away. Then it follows with a G to a D over F sharp. This is how I play it with the thumb up here. To an E minor seven, and then an E minor seven over D. So you're really, even though you might have this finger still here, you're just playing these top four strings open because you want this bass line going. Okay. Then it goes to a C, Back to the E minor 7, but now the B becomes the root, so E minor 7 over B. You're actually playing these top five strings to an A. And he was talking for a new and and as he grew, he said, I'm gonna be like you, Dad. You know I'm gonna be like you. Okay? And then the chorus. The chorus is really easy. It's an A. G, to C, to D, to an A, to a G, and then the last part of the verse, C, E minor 7 over B to A, repeat. So, and the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon, little boy blue and the man on the moon. Coming home, Dad, I don't know when We'll get together then You know we'll have a good time then Okay? And that's it! Of course, you add that signature riff right then and there again, and you've got it! All right, thanks again for swinging by and watching the video. I really appreciate it, and I hope it was helpful to you. If you get a chance, subscribe, like the video, and come on back again for the next opportunity. All right, thanks a lot. Take care. Keep playing. Bye-bye.